Let me start start recording here. Okay, we're good to go. <coughs> we'll wait. Let's see if Chris and Tom show up. But let's coordinate some so th you see the two links in the in the chat box. Yeah. Okay. So. Yeah. So how does this? Let's let's go over the schedule because I think the Belgium part is the only troubling thing. With I went to the post office and they're telling me that if you get unlucky, you're gonna get stuck in customs and they can basically mm -hmm. ship in three to five business days that's kind of what i think what we have to do at this point but <clears throat> there's an issue there um it could be possible that we don't get stuff uh, found it. so i was going to ask if it's possible that we have a backup plan like <coughs> like if this thing like i was thinking of shipping by like i got us probably like friday yeah friday is, is on the schedule final ship international um and then that should get to you by like Friday the 17th. I mean, it should. Mm -hmm. And if it doesn't, then we're kind of hurting there. So we should probably make plans otherwise. Um, like, I don't know. I would say if, if you're actually not receiving it by the 17th, then like we need really would want to build our own. Because it says three to five days for this option that I have. But if it gets stuck in customs, like... We could mm. be in trouble. Yeah, so. I know, I know. I've been, uh, uh, I've been looking into... Um, hey, Chris. Uh, eBay going. ordering through... Hello, Chris. Yeah. Hey, let's fill Chris in. So, so uh, Chris, if customs are a problem yeah. for Belgium, we're in trouble. But it, but I found out shipping it three <laughs> to five days. I want to ship on Friday, oh, wow. at least with the main... Oh, yeah. At least with the extruder and the control panel, which are the only... Uh, really quality controllable things that you really need to be tight on a quality control uh, so we're saying yeah. like what are we gonna do if we don't get it like if Michelle doesn't get it by say the 17th so yeah Michelle, go ahead we've got because we've well, got two people for uh, Belgium we got one for for you and one for me in Texas awesome. at this point awesome. and then there's three, it's three a start. That's a good. Cool. Mm -hmm. All for the remote seven or nine day? Not uh, yeah. Yeah, the remote is on nine days. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they're they're going to participate with all the builds and collaborate on everything. So awesome. yeah. I mean, the idea is that they, wait, they, they get kits too. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. So we're all innovating together, which is actually just to tell you where I've been. I've been looking at the uh, the part list for the kit, and there's some cool things we can do. So like, we can definitely do. So we're going to get the 555 motor, right? The latest thought on that yesterday was I looked up one is a, like a tiny grinder, right? Uh, someone, someone made a homemade grinder for sharpening tools. I was thinking that for like, cause in the second day there's, we're building the pen plotter. Uh, but if other people want to do other things, like we have that whole day, like probably like four hours there out after we learned the uh, collaborative literacy like FreeCAD and and how to collaborate i was thinking uh, even things like yeah the little bench top grinder where you where you actually print a 3d printed belt and print a tiny cog so you can use the tiny 555 motor i mean we can definitely use it on a schedule already is the idea that we're going to turn it into a cnc drill um now it's almost feature but but I, I i was thinking i was kind of getting excited yesterday about the option that you put like a little spindle that you 3d print and show the whole tool chain where you're getting a person to build this useful tool for like you know there's the motor and then on top of that it's like a couple of bucks for an actual tool like a little uh, well, sharpener thing it would be a 3d printed useful, belt. Uh, I've, I was looking into um, DIY Arduino Unos, uh -huh. and I, I came across the, the Beduino that's on the Open Source Ecology Wiki also. Um, and it's pretty uh, pretty easy to do with, uh, with homemade uh, etching etchant and with a laser printer transfer, uh -huh. toner transfer. Uh, but then you have to drill the holes, of, of course. And that's a bit tricky with a with a large drill. So uh -huh. the the little hand drill, uh, based on the five 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 motor, would be very useful for uh, drilling PCBs. Yeah, how does the Beduino? 
Uh, it doesn't have a USB port? Um, no, but you can attach the um, FTDI cable or um, uh, how it's called. Um, ICSP yeah. header, it looks like it is, right? Yeah. Yeah, it can, it can uh, attach um, a USB port to program it. And once that's programmed, you can uh, detach it. So it's cheaper to make. And you have like one uh, port that you can use for several uh, Arduinos. Uh, how do you connect the, the USB and then disconnect it? Uh, through header, header pins. So the instead of the normal USB port, you can just use header pins for the USB? Yeah. Oh, yeah you, you, uh, you attach uh, a USB connection. Uh, it's with uh, some electronics for converting uh, the signal, but um, yeah, it's pretty common. You can uh, easily find it. I will look for uh, a link. Yeah, hmm. but anyway, as far as yeah. the, the only upshot of the, like what I was just to finish up what I was saying, with the equipment that we have on hand, yes, absolutely the CNC drill, and, and we may not have time for anything else, but if things are flowing and, and things are going really well, I mean, if like a bunch more people, say remote people sign up, we can possibly do some other projects. I was saying that all we need extra for that. Well, let me show you what I'm talking about. Just uh, so you, you well, get the CNC this. drill as a, as a tool head for the universal. Well, that we're going to do that we can do. Yeah, okay. So, yeah. um, but look at this DIY grinder disc. Okay, here, let me show you a link. But basically take that. And do a micro. Oh, where is that? DIY grinder disc on the wiki, but there it is. Paste. Uh, DIY grinder disc. Take a look at that. Basically, what it turns out. Okay, cut that out. Um, hey, can um. you shut that down? Um, using parts that we are. So we have a. You see, like a big motor uh. there. Look, ik weet niet, ik ben aan het verhaderen. Ja, of koptelefoon dat je dat uit. All we need in addition to what we have in a set, because we can 3D print things, we can 3D print a belt, a tiny GT2 belt, because I'll bring some TPU, like we'll, we'll have some stock TPU, and we can, yeah, I mean it prints... I was amazed how well it prints with TPU. Like I, I printed out this single layer vase that could hold water. That's it's awesome. like pretty, pretty crazy. Um, but we can do, like, imagine if we did the five 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 motor, and maybe like this is even after hours. Like if people are excited and they want to stay, but I mean we kind of want to keep it to nine to f nine to six. But uh, you can three D print all the parts. Use the skate bearings. So we'll just need a piece of eight millimeter shaft, which is already used for the rods. And then there's this cool tightening mechanism. What you're doing there is just using sandpaper. So over the whole dev kit, what we have already, if I include some sandpaper, you can do this with a 555 3D printed pulleys and a 3D printed uh, GT2 belt, which would show just the most amazing kind of um, a collab, you know, product ecology there. And I'm. Um, I wanted to find out from Tom if we could still do, like with the power electronics, we could do this uh, buck converter that would t allow us to very easily take 120 AC from the wall and power up that that tiny 555 motor, like using infrastructure that's already largely within a power panel thing. Like basically Arduino plus transistor and uh, inductor and capacitor make you a buck converter that you can then run like the five, even the 555 motor from the wall. Like a, I don't know, like five components, and you got wall power to this. So I don't know. I'm, I'm just saying. But anyway, all we need uh, extra on top of what we have is I just added some sandpaper for 25 cents into the kit so that we can we can do that if we want to. But anyway, uh, so the tell. Okay, let's let's solve the Beduino thing. Um, where's that serial to USB converter on it? That's the thing you still need to connect between the headers. Or or no. Uh, well um, I will send you a link. Uh, wait. Uh, uh, 
Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's a simple thing. I mean, I was going try to try not to do the toner transfer because it's a totally different technology than what we have, and we don't have printers, do we? Like, no, that's... Uh, it's different. I mean, what we were going to do is draw it by hand. Just draw it by hand. Do, do, get yeah, but it's a, it's a bit it's a bit fine to draw by hand. Uh, well, uh, with point one well, spacing, you can use a, a photo a photocopy on uh, on glossy paper. Uh, dude, that's like tricky. I don't know. That's I think it would be much easier to draw it by hand. I mean, that, you you'll get hit and miss results with that uh, with novice people. Um, Okay. Anyway, uh, but but show me. Let let's dis decide this because because what happened to the one from before which we had in the spec and well, the official spec? Yeah, but it's not a rhyme form factor. Uh, it's a uh, why not? You can't fit all the components for the right form factor. Um, I have to um, if if I want to use the the strip board, I have yeah. to do uh, quite some adjustments. Um, so yeah. I can look into that further and uh, let the Beduino, um, don't look into the Beduino any further. Okay, but sh sh show me the uh, link, let's evaluate the two choices. Um, wait, um, there's, there's two, two possible. Say it again, Excuse me? Chris? Okay. Sorry, go ahead. Um, yeah, I'm looking for the right link here. Hmm. Unprepared. So this is the instructables that you uh, sent uh, yesterday. Yeah, it's for the between way, eh? but uh, it does. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. There's uh, information about the programming also. Yeah. Uh, Okay, yeah, it's a USB ASP that you can attach. Okay. Yeah, when you scroll down, uh, step eight, it's a bootloader, bootloader burning using USB ASP. Okay. And that's like a component you can order at several suppliers okay, put the uh, link you attach it with a okay send me a link uh, with the jumper jumper cables and then you but can we uh, need to have okay send one the of link. these bootloader uh, chips oh, we need to have one of these uh, devices yeah you can buy a chip with a bootloader already on or you can put on a start okay, with a clean uh, at mega and put on the bootloader yourself um, Can you hear me? That uh, seems interesting. Okay, sorry, can you guys hear me now? Down of the Beduino because that part, the USB part, isn't integrated. It's like uh, external and you can use it on several boards. Okay, can you guys hear me? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let, me, let me just take a look at that part. Okay, can you send a link to that part? I still don't have the link. Okay. Mm. I'm looking at the bill of materials right now. It's got like voltage regulator, other stuff. I mean, from what I see immediately, and I can look at it in more detail, this is hard. This is a more complex circuit, and you can't do this by hand. You can't yeah, do the other you one. You always hand. have a voltage, voltage regulator. No, you don't. Uh, if you have a five, five, don't you, don't you omit that if you have the five volt power source from the USB? That's what we were looking at doing. You have the five volt USB. Forget about the voltage regulator. Uh, cut down the the part list to the minimum, which is shown in the original spec. Uh, I'm not sure if we. Uh, um, 
we want to go this route, but I still need to see the part. Uh, to yeah, to yeah. Well, I'm I'm looking to. Uh, um, yeah, it's this part. Do you have any diagrams or anything that you draw drew up on a curriculum or anything that shows this or? I haven't uploaded it yet. Uh, I was looking into the different uh, designs that are already available. One on a strip board, but it doesn't have the, the headers uh, at the right place to put on a, a standard shield. Um, and then I came about uh, the Beduino that has the same form factor and uh, it's 100% compatible. Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah, I was doing some. Uh, I have been doing quite a lot of tests with the toner transfer, with uh, several actions to look in that direction. But uh, yeah, it's dude, man. It's, uh, I don't know. I want to stop you right there because I think you're going into a rabbit hole with that. I mean, the idea was that with the super simple. I mean, yeah, the toner it it can work, but it's it's questionable with the. With a circuit that I showed already, I mean, it's got so few components and we could even like just connect a few pins that we have like, say, two or three pins. So we don't necessarily need to do them. But that route was completely doable by hand using the existing practices of... of where, where, where is that circuit? I don't know. Uh, In the spec. What I sh what, the link I, I showed you last time. The thing I sent you. Okay. Yeah, well, I okay. will... I have, the, yeah, I have them here. The okay, let's paste that into the, the thing. Um, I mean, it's all good, but we just don't have the time to do that. And, uh, yeah, I know, I know. It's, uh, and we already, I mean, we the point is we have a working solution. Like, uh, I mean, that solution is supposed to work. So unless we say that something about it doesn't work, we don't want to like spin off into new things because I mean, we kind of got to go by the minimum viable product. That's still very impressive. Um, let's see. Hold on, Steam Camp specifications. It's the Arduino Uno requirement. It's it's that space. Yeah, so. that one. Yeah. I mean, the first thing to say is if, what is missing from that? I mean, that's that solves all the, the things that we need. Unless there's something missing from it and that's not going to work. Mm. Yeah, okay, let's take a look at that. Yeah, but that's not uh, like a complete design. It's, uh, it's a collection of, of uh, parts. Um, yeah, but look at the video. There's a video uh, uh, where a guy walks you through the whole thing on a breadboard and to go from a breadboard to a circuit board. Did you see that video? You know what I'm talking about? Um, is there a link in there okay, uh, to the video? Uh, hold on, let me. Uh... Well, I've, I've seen I've seen uh, uh, some breadboard designs, yeah, but uh... no, that's there's a I mean there's a complete path already lined up in a full video with all the details. Uh, I guess you didn't see it, so let's let's take a look at that. Where did that link go? Um, Chris, what were you saying? Oh, just could you um, if you guys are looking, could you mind linking me? Uh, I'm looking for the same. Thing that you guys are looking at. Arduino. It's it would be on DIY Arduino page on the wiki. Um, okay, there it is. Gotcha. Uh, check this out before you go any further, and let's see if we can replicate that. So take a look at that video. It's the it's the with USB video there. Look, I mean, look at that. Like five wires, a couple of components. Um, we can add as many headers. I mean, what I was thinking to that, add the headers, but you don't even need to connect all the headers. You just connect like say two pins that you want to use for everything. So literally like how hard is that to draw like five lines on a circuit board 
and then put it in our bath with all those components there. There's like six components. So like half the components in what you show in the other one. Mm -hmm. Now, that USB thing there, the only difference is that it's got that the different USB, but still you can plug a USB thing and make it look like the, you know, lay it down so it looks like the Arduino. Wouldn't that be the easiest thing to do there? Um, yeah. I mean, he's got the circuit diagram on, I think, on the... Well, he walks through it. He, he talks through every single connection on there. So to me, that sounds like done deal mm -hmm. I mean one two three four five six one two three four five six seven seven components total plus wires um yeah, well, I will uh, have a look at it. Uh, it's maybe a few components less, but uh, yeah. Okay. But what? I mean, I mean, if you like the other one, like, wh why do you like it more? Yeah, of course. Uh, I, I will uh, if it's uh, less components. I, I was just looking how. Yeah, it's uh, it's just the capacitors and the crystal. Yeah. No voltage regulator. Yeah. Okay. But this one does not have a, a PCB, um, so we'll need to just draw a PCB. Is what you're saying? Yeah. So you are having trouble with the strip, the strip, trying to do it with strip board. Yeah. Strip um, board. Yeah, yeah. Okay, but yeah. But what was so what was the problem with the strip board? It was not uh, able to line up with the headers. Uh, well, it should be possible, but uh, with the, yeah. Um, I was having to, to look at um, adjusting the, the design that I already had and uh, it seemed like easier to just uh, make the, the PCB, the, the, um, yeah, but the it's Arduino not, PCB. It's not easier to, PC, to do the PCB because the, the toner transfer methods are pretty much hit and miss. I mean... Yeah, it's, it's true. Uh, uh, yeah, so we do, I mean, we don't have that technology. I would say that just to do it. Go ahead, Chris. Do it by drying. I'm saying so. You're saying I mean, okay, uh, get a look. piece of cover and do it uh, by drying. Okay, so both in a program, we have the idea that we can. We we initially talked about the two routes. One is you can easily use a breadboard and then you solder the connections. On sorry, not breadboard, the strip board. And you just solder, make the, you break the connections and make some solder connections there. That's the way that you get something that's permanent. The other route was, was the more experimental of drawing it by hand and using the etching and using the, the circuit, the CNC drill to actually do the holes. So the way you'd want to do that is you, you probably want to drill the holes first with the, on a raw PCB board with the CNC drill that that we have and then you just draw draw lines between the holes i mean how much more simple can it get and yeah it's artistic. that's true that's true yeah it's artistic and it shows this ridiculously simple way outside of the cnc drill and a universal axis <laughs> uh, that you can't do functional stuff that's like super easy so say you know you you were on a desert island and you, you had this one the d3d universal and then at and an arduino chip you can actually build chips on a desert island using that with some basic supplies so yeah, yeah so pursue that and but we did want talk about two options one is the bread the the strip board version that mm -hmm. still stands because that's a sure bet i mean we can definitely solder and put it all together and the second version is the is the hand drawn but let's use the same components on both so we don't complicate the project so use like yeah. when you have this usb to serial use that all the same components mm -hmm. yeah okay but uh, i will look at the, at the design without uh, like the regulator and without leds and uh, with all the, without all those things okay uh, 
Yeah, that should uh, make things easier, faster. Yeah, I think I think we have it right there. All we gotta do is is just replicate that. I mean, I don't see any issues with that. I think the saving grace there is you're replacing any of the power management components, the regulator, which is a tiny chip, with the USB thing, which has got four pins that are 0.1 inch spacing. So it's really easy to make those connections. Like all the components there right now are one in, 0.1 inch or 2.54 millimeters. So with a Sharpie, I mean, it's pretty trivial to draw those by hand. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, the one I, I was looking into, uh, the, the Beduino, is, is pretty, uh, yeah, it's a bit fine to, to draw it, but with yeah. a, a lot less components, uh, it should work. Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay, cool. Let's let's roll with that. So let's go back to, if you look at the links in the, in the chat, go to the link on the calendar. Let's, let's discuss the calendar. Um, and Chris, do you have any updates? Are you, so are you still like really, um, really busy with work and all that? Um, no, I think I'm I've, uh, finally uh, uh, things have kind of come down um, from all holiday stuff. So I'm shifting. I'm in the process of shifting all of my focus so, over to this. Excellent. So, so I'm, um, yeah. The only thing I have otherwise going on is a whole bunch of repairs. So there's like a ton of printers in here. But okay. Yeah. That sounds cool. So click on the link with the that says uh, the first program. There's a second link in the chat box, which is calendar. Do you guys see it? Yeah. Okay. So the timeline there is so like you know the the biggest thing is with this international shipping and the potential of getting stuck in customs is a, is an issue, and we have to kind of have a backup there. So. But let's talk about the timelines. 